When you look into their belief systems, you find that there is a different God, there is a different Jesus, and there is a different Holy Spirit to the one that is recorded in the Bible. The God of the Christian science is a, is a force, is a power, is, is somebody, it's not a person that one can really come to know. The Jesus of Christian science isn't the Jesus of Scripture who died on the cross, was buried in the tomb and gloriously rose again to newness of life on the third day. In fact, he just fainted was put in the tomb and he recovered again and he came out. Therefore, there is no death of Jesus Christ to enable us to have our past lives dealt with completely once and for all. The Holy Spirit is just a power. Uh, therefore, uh, there, there, there is no ability again of part of the Godhead to lead us, to help us to understand the truth and the reality as is found in Scripture. Therefore, we come to a major problem with Christian science. How can my sin be forgiven? The true gospel would say the only way my past life can be dealt with my only way that these things which are wrong in my life can be put to one side is because Jesus paid all of the price, all of the penalty of all of those things on the cross at Calvary. And therefore, I can be free from them. He has paid the penalty that I should have paid. But in Christian science, Jesus didn't die in such a way, wasn't buried, wasn't rose again. And so the only way in Christian science these things can be dealt with is mind over matter. In other words, we pretend they don't exist. So death doesn't really exist. It's an illusion. Sin doesn't really exist. It's an illusion. Evil doesn't really exist. It's an illusion. And so there are no real answers to these situations. The message of Christian science does not deal with them in the way the message of Scripture, the Bible, does deal with them.